This is a pretty amazing, a pretty amazing new technology development from researchers at Stanford University or Stanford College, whatever you call it. The truth is here that this innovation apparently can increase battery lifetime and capacity by up to 70%. It's a really, really small thing. It's like a tiny little innovation. I actually reported on a similar innovation to this about six months ago, but this is an evolution of that innovation, which has improved. And this has been reported on by different different sections of the media, but many people haven't heard of this yet. I've talked to some people recently. I was talking to some from some fans at the gym of EVs and they, they hadn't heard of this. So I thought, you know what, maybe you guys haven't heard of it either. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Now, guys, I want to, just for all the Aussie fans here, I want I have a solar system installed on my roof. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm making a profit of about $10 per day. That's even after paying for the electricity I have to use in the grid when there's no sun shining or when there's no electricity being made. But after all that, I'm still making around $10 a day. So if you guys want to use these guys, they have the best reviews. I'll put a link in the description. I don't make anything from this, by the way, just making sure you're aware of that. Now, batteries can last much, much longer through a simple little change. Apparently, it can increase the lifespan by 70%. Crazy, right? Scientists at the SLAC Stanford Battery Center have discovered a way to significantly increase the durability and lifespan of rechargeable lithium ion batteries. This info was first published in the French journal Joule. They say that it starts off with a high charge current. In the study, lithium ion batteries were given high formation charge currents immediately after production in order to test what effect this would have on how long the batteries would actually last for. What was the result? Well, the battery cycle life was extended by an average of 50% by doing this, with some extended by up to 70%. So the average was a 50% extension of battery cycle life. You're gonna get twice as many charges out of that battery, but some batteries increased their cycle life by 70%. And the charging process to do this only takes 20 minutes instead of 10 hours. So I'm not sure what that means exactly, but it sounds to me that actually doing this to a battery before they put it in a machine and put it, put it in your new electric car or do whatever they do with it, you know, put it into a pack for your, for your home battery storage. It seems to me that there's a pretty small amount of work here that actually needs to be done. And this is something that could be quite easily done to all batteries. According to the researchers, the increased battery lifespan is due to changes that occur in the battery electrodes as a result of sending this high charge or high current through them. Now you would think, right, usually doing this actually damages a battery. Well, that's the um, sort of traditional logic, but that isn't actually true. This method leads to a high loss of the lithium contained within the battery, but it simultaneously forms a protective layer around the negative battery electrode. That leads to better performance and a longer service life. Does that decrease the energy density of the battery by um, potentially degrading some of the lithium? Well, it appears it doesn't, according to the researchers. But I don't know exactly. I mean, it is possible. This principle, though, is similar to the process used for fast charging in modern phones, where a higher voltage is used to move lithium ions faster from one electrode to the other but the lithium loss is noticeably less significant in the fast charging process. So this is a huge opportunity for the industry. I mean, imagine if the battery lifespans were increased by, by double. I mean, for example, CATL, the biggest battery manufacturer in the world, they now say that their latest EV battery has a 1 million kilometer warranty. Uh, and so does a second, I believe Geely now say that about, as well about their short blade battery. 1 million kilometer warranty and they expect the batteries to last significantly longer than 1 million kilometers. I don't know if they've applied this methodology to these batteries, but if they did, in theory, maybe they'd achieve more than 2 million kilometers. That's crazy. Of course, you wouldn't want to drive the same car for 2 million kilometers. Everything, everything else would be falling apart around the battery pack. So the batteries could just be repurposed for energy storage or for many, many different purposes. These findings should be of huge interest to the industry. And I believe the industry is definitely going, hang on a minute, uh, this is crazy. Why did we not do this already? 
Tests and studies could reveal more ways though to improve the performance of batteries or even lead to new types of fast charging. Until we reach the point of mass production with this type of um, sending charges through the batteries, we'll have to do with our current live battery lifespans. Now, what are our current battery lifespans? Well, to be honest, no one really, really knows because most of the time, EVs just aren't driven for that long. But there are quite a few Tesla Model 3s now that have done more than 400,000 miles on their first battery. So they're more of a modern battery to what were in Tesla Model S's and Model X's, and they'll generally last for an incredibly long time. And in fact, if you look at the vehicles being used as taxis in China, they're almost always electric battery. They're almost always EVs because they last so much longer than a vehicle with an engine in it. And in many cases, in fact, uh, batteries are being repurposed from old electric cars because the, the basically the car reaches the end of its lifespan. The, the suspension is wrecked. You know, all the different parts in the car are wrecked and there's no point actually replacing those. It's too expensive. You're better off just buying a new car. And then they repurpose those old batteries for energy storage and many, many different purposes. Now you can see evidence of this if you just look at eBay. Look at the eBay listings. There are eBay listings where people have sold uh, literally tens of thousands of used Tesla batteries from old Tesla vehicles that are still working incredibly well. Imagine though, if all those batteries could have a DC, a super fast charge current go through them that would double their potential life. Or in fact, up to 70%. That is, that's just revolutionary. That's game changing, literally. Thanks for watching.